Hey, what is up guys? This is FNH here and today I am back with a brand new 2020 video review of my top five music players. Okay, so I made one last year and I am going to make an updated one uh, this year showing you guys the actual players installed on my computer and just basically how they work and how they look. All right, so yeah, so let's get started. The first one I would have to say is Music B again. All right, so these aren't in any particular order, right? So I just want to make that clear. So, you know, I will tell you which ones that I, you know, currently still use, which one I've used in the past, and which one I liked a lot, and which one I just liked a little bit. All right, so Music B was one that I've used for a few years. Um, you know, uh, it wasn't, I, I don't currently use this. I used this a few years back. But, you know, it's really nice. I liked it the way, um, the whole feature of it, right? You can see over here, it has, um, you know, playing tracks on the right, on the left is the Explorer. You know, it has a bunch of different themes. So let me just show you a bit, um, a bit of the themes. So right now, I think I have dark b78 so i was just trying it out and that's what it's um set to you know normally i do like dark uh theme better than the light light theme so you know just a preference but let's try some other themes let's do uh blue midnight so when you do when you select it it does restart it right and this is the blue midnight it's not bad but just not really um you know something that i would be using but aside from the theme, you know, you guys can see it is typically like it's like a regular music player. You know, th there wasn't really anything um, too fancy about it. It was it, I I do like the, some of the design that it has. Um, one thing special about this player is that it has a SoundCloud integration within it. So you know, you guys can find. Um, you know sound from soundcloud uh search music from there and play it here that's one thing the other thing is it also allows for podcasts okay so that's really interesting also so you know if you, you can have your all your i guess audio stuff in one player straight from here you can do whatever you want all right um aside from that it does um yeah, I believe it. There is a place. I don't know if this still currently here, but I do remember in the past, uh, it did used to have a place where it showed you uh, any upcoming events or you know any bands that are playing near you, right? So you know it, it does have that here as well. I just can't find it right now, but um, so that's there. And then you can also convert uh, and format your music. Uh, your or I should say your MP3 play, MP3 files, and last but not least, it does allow you to burn the music onto a CD. You know that's an option if you do want to do that. You know most people don't do CDs anymore, but you know um, the option is there if if need be. All right, so that's the first thing. All right, well the first player, the second one I would say is AIMP. All right, so AIMP is really nice. I like the design of AIMP personally. Um, I like it more than the uh, Music B one, but AIMP has more. I guess it's more of a modern design uh, as compared to the um, Music B. Uh, this is a Russian player, so uh, meaning it's made by a, some Russian company, I believe. Right, um, and it has a voice recorder in it as well, which is really nice. And what I mean by uh, voice recorder, well, I, I should be more specific as a sound recorder. So if you are playing, you know, something on YouTube, you can make AIMP um, record the that sound and convert it into an MP3. So you can create your own MP3s based off what's playing on the on your computer. All right, so you know that's pretty good because you know not all music is available on you know let's say Spotify or any other or other places. All right, so that's good. And then um, you know the modern design is really good. And also when you have something playing right and you minimize it, it comes to the bottom right of the screen over here. So you know you don't have to you know just keep minimizing and expanding it every time you um, 
you know need to pause it or go to the next um, uh, track okay so overall you know I, I don't use this currently either um, I've used this probably the longest after what I currently use but you know it, it was really good while it, while I used it all right the next one I would say is foobar so foobar uh, the reason I added foobar was it's very minimalistic right so you know you might not have a computer that's you know that quick you know it not even it doesn't even have to be that quick but you know every process on your computer probably slows down so you want something that's running at the least amount of resources possible and I believe foobar is probably one of the best choice for that so the player is called foobar 2000 right um, I've used this you know a few years back um, I well I, I I would say early 2000s or mid 2000s um, like 2005 for around there um, I used to use this heavily this is the main thing I used to use because my computer wasn't really that good so I needed something very lightweight and something that you know wouldn't add too much load on my computer to whatever else I was doing on there so you know that's why I added foobar you know definitely um, you want to check that out all right so let me just minimize that all right next is nuclear so right here you guys can see so nuclear has you know um, it, it's I, I guess nuclear is different it's not like your typical player this is the one I currently use right um, one thing is it's open source so you have to you can download it from github right um, and aside from that it's it's a music player but it also lets you it, it lets you listen to music from free online places so for example YouTube sound clamp uh, soundcloud and uh, bandcamp right so you know those provide free music so this just aggregates all those music and lets you listen it listen to them straight from here which is really cool in my opinion and then once you're listening to it you can download it direct uh, from wherever you're listening to you can download it into an mp3 directly from here so you know that's really cool and nice um, so this is what I am currently listening to or currently used to listen to um, my music um, so you know it, it's still in beta so it's not fully out yet so you know there are some glitches here and there but they are making updates and changes to it um, so yeah definitely check this out and I've been using this I believe for two years now and you know there, there's small glitches here and there but nothing that major which would which made me want to switch or anything alright so that is four and last but not least uh, Winamp right you guys probably heard of Winamp um, it's probably one of the most famous ones that out there one thing is it's really simple right um, and aside from that the reason I chose this was it has really good integration with other resources or other internet resources okay there's a lot of plugins you can put in here there's a big internet community right um, so Winamp you know <clears throat> if you have you wouldn't really have any issues with Winamp um, in terms of setting it up because you know you, online um, there's a lot of free resources and there's a huge community for Winamp that uses it on a daily basis okay and aside from that this it, Winamp is I believe the uh, choice that people use for hosting free radios right so if you have a free radio that you host uh, you know you can do that straight from Winamp and I believe Winamp is uh, the main one people select alright um, in terms of design I'm not a I'm, oops where'd it go oh it's on the bottom right here oh no oh, that is the other one the one I mentioned uh, the Russian one AIMP so this is how it looks on the bottom right well, you can move it to wherever you want all right so that's pretty cool um, but yeah let's go back to Winamp I don't know oh okay it's on the top over here that's odd okay yeah I, I think I pressed the wrong button the windshade mode 
but yeah aside from that you guys I, i'm not a big fan of the theme you know there are custom themes you can get but me personally i like the theme that's more um like the ai uh, like the aimp one or either the nuclear one which has more of a modern design look to it um you know just when I'm, you can just look at it and tell that it's more um i guess older but yeah that's basically it let me just do no for that uh it's gonna keep coming but whatever um um, so yeah, that's basically it. These are the top five, in my opinion. You know, there's different reasons. You know, obviously I don't use listen to all top five anymore, but you know, at some point in my life, I did stick to one of these, and they were my top. They were my choice at some point in my life. So yeah, that's why I selected this. Uh, let me know what you guys' thoughts are. If you guys like this um, top five or not. Um, if you guys have any other players, let me know in the comments below. You know, maybe I'll you know i probably never heard of it probably better than all of these i love to check it out you know just try it out and see if it's actually better maybe it'll be included in my next um video um for an update for this so yeah let me know what you guys thoughts are um if you like the video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys next time